Hey y'all, I'm Unknown Miscreant, and in this video I'll be showing you how to update the Ashen mod pack after a Just Cause 4 patch. So if you have not had the mod installed previously, you'll want to go and watch the previous video on how to install the mod pack from scratch. Anyway, on with the update. So this is what your Just Cause 4 fold will look like after a patch. You'll have two Just Cause 4 EXEs, both in the region of 270 megabyte. You'll need to go and, as there's an updated version of the mod launcher, this has multi-language support. If you don't need anything other than English, stick with V1.0, it's functionally identical. And you'll need the new version of the Ashen mod pack. So unzip both of these using 7-zip. And that's easy to get online. Basically do a Google search, 7-zip, first link, download it, download link, easy, install it. Right, now you've got these unzipped, you'll want to go into the mod launcher directory and run this executable. Choose your Just Cause 4 folder. So this will probably be different. This will be different on your machine. If you're absolutely stuck for where it where it will be, you can go into Steam, right-click Just Cause 4, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. That will open in the, your game folder in Windows Explorer, so you can see what drive it's on and where to go in the folder select dialog. Once you've selected your folder, you'll be met with this screen. You need to press install mods. Once this dialog box comes up, press OK. If it doesn't, there's a button here to join our Discord to get in contact with me. Once this is installed correctly, close it. Next, check your Just Cause 4 folder. You should have two Just Cause 4 EXEs still, but one of them will be much smaller than the other, 9 kilobyte versus 270 megabyte. That's all correct. So next you need to go into the Ashen mod pack folder and copy just the X input file. Also check you need to replace it. Also check that Ashen config and the drop zone are still present in your Just Cause 4 folder. If they are not, you'll need to recopy them in from here. Otherwise the game will crash on launch. Once that's all done, Go to Steam and launch the game. Once in game, you can check that the mod launcher mod pack is active by the overlay and check the keybinds are working. If that's all working, then all good. You're set to go. Have fun, eh? 